Hi everyone, this is ASUS RTBE88U and in this video I will show you how to set up this rotor as an access point. Somebody might think about access point just about range repeater connected by cable, but the difference is huge. Range repeater has no options at all. Access point is more flexible and of course gives you better speed. So you can pause the video and compare the modes of the rotor. Another moment is, because of wired connection, the distance between your main rotor and your access point may be uh, as long as you need. You can provide your internet to your neighbor up on the next street if you want. Uh, but the question is, do you want to create seamless network uh, through your house using your access point? Uh, if yes, first of all, I recommend you to test your Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, to do this, place your access point in the location it will where it's supposed to be and uh, take the weakest smartphone in your house and walk through your house and make sure your smartphone can see both your main rotors network uh, and the setup network of your access point. Uh, you can find the setup network name on the product label over here at the bottom of your rotor. So uh, if your smartphone can see both uh, your access point and your main rotor from anywhere uh, in your house, it's easy to create seamless Wi-Fi coverage, uh, similar to AI uh, mesh system, uh, but way faster. So once you found the best location for your access point, uh, you need to establish wired backhaul. To do this, connect one end of your Ethernet cable to LAN output on your main rotor. And the other end of this cable to the internet input on your access point. This access point actually has two uh, Ethernet internet inputs, uh, 2.5 gigabits and 10 gigabits. This is just brand width. It will not give you better speed. So use proper port. If your internet is about 2.4, uh, 2.5 gigabit, I recommend you this one. Uh, so once you done it, you need to connect your computer to the setup network of your access point and you can continue setup. So make sure your computer is connected and now open any web browser. In new tab in the search bar type in Asus Rotors default IP address. By default it looks like this 192.168.51. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Uh, and it takes you to the setup menu, uh, select advanced settings over here, choose operation mode and select access point. Uh, then select automatic IP. This is the best option if you are not advanced user. In this case, you can assign IP manually, a lot of fields here. So let's select automatic IP. And now create your network name for your access point. So two options. If you want to create seamless Wi-Fi network, you need to name your access point same as your main rotor. If you want to create a dedicated uh, access point, for example, for your home office or kids, create a different name or password, just any different name and different password. In this uh, example, we create a seamless network, so you need to enter uh, the same network name and the same password as on your main rotor. Check your password. This is IoT network. Do not overload your main channel with connections of smart cameras, fridges and so on. Uh, then once entered, hit apply. Ignore this window. This is warning about weak password. It's okay for our example. And also create router login name and password to manage your access point. Once entered, check if the passwords are matching. I recommend you to create stronger password than this one. Uh, hit next. Uh, then scroll down over here. Scroll down. Click on this uh, checkbox. Agree. Accept the terms and conditions. And if you see uh, available updates, uh, you, uh, you can update your firmware but for this example i will skip this just to save time and here is your summary actually your connection is already set up and you have seamless wi-fi network uh, in your house but you need to reconnect i think yes i'm reconnected and i have seamless network but here is a small problem. If you want to manage your access point, you can't access it by its default IP address anymore because the IP address was changed 
uh, by your main rotor. So what you need is access your main rotor's web interface first and make your way to wired clients and find your access point new IP address. Then copy it and paste in a new tab. And now it takes you to your rotor login page. You can enter your username, password, sign in as administrator and manage your access point from here. But agree to the terms and conditions first. Scroll down here. Oh, one more window. Okay, scroll to the bottom, agree. And here is your access point menu. You have fewer settings than in main rotor because this is just an access point, but it's still better than a wireless repeater. That's how it basically works. And if this was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, any questions, comment below and be awesome. See you in the next videos. Bye guys.